Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is studio vlog number two. Um, I've posted my first studio vlog in a playlist, so I now have a studio vlog playlist on my channel. So I'm hoping to make a lot more of these videos. I got a lot of feed, good feedback on the last one. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little story this morning um, because I woke up really early and I started scrolling through Instagram and I saw that a local stationery shop has the Flow Paper Lovers book in stock. I've actually been hunting this book down for two years now. I've been on the Flow Magazine um, website, I've been on Amazon, I've been to lots of new news agencies. Um, shipping it from overseas have just been way too expensive. I could not justify the costs. And a lot of agencies said they'll get back to me and they never did. So I've I've had this book um, on my radar for two years. I've also been watching Vivian from the Paper Letter blog open it, like flip through. So I've always wanted this book. So when I saw that a local shop had it, I called them up straight away. I was like, can you put one aside for me? I drove over there straight away and I picked it up and I came back before like nine o'clock. So I've had a whole adventure this morning um, and I realized I'm such a stage addict that I've done all of that just to get this book but I've been wanting this for so long so I'm going to create a video today where it's just a flip through um, I might do a bit of journaling with it as well and maybe create some snail mail just depending on time um, I've got to clean the house today and I'm also got a hair appointment this afternoon I'm going out for dinner tonight so I've got a lot of things on um, so this studio vlog is going to happen over the next couple of days it's just not going to be one day um, and I'll see how much I can include but I've got some footage of me going to collect the book so I'll show you guys that now. I felt like it needed that moment. <laughs> um, so I got all the way over to the stationery shop and then I realized oh, it's for food lovers. It's not even the one that I was looking for. So this is a special edition for food lovers. It is a paper lovers book. So it's still got like heaps of envelopes and tags and things that you would expect in a paper lovers book, but it's around food. Um, I'm not completely disappointed because it's got really cute stationery. It's just not the one that I was expecting. But no matter what, I'm probably still going to use everything inside. So I've done the full flip through now on YouTube. You can watch that video now. Um, and yeah, I'm really keen to start journaling and making some snail mail packages for people. So again, I know I've showed you my setup a few times, but it's literally just um, the camera's filming from upside down. And then when I edit, I just flick all the footage around 180 degrees. Um, but as you can see, the camera actually picks up all of these spots when it focuses in. So what I've got is I've got one of these um, little scrubbing tools. They're actually the ones that you scrub your dishes with. 
And then what I'll do is because it's really hard for me to wipe down this table and make it super clean. I don't know what it is about the paint. Um, but as soon as I wipe it down, it just like leaves like a wet residue on top. Um, so I've got one of these and well, every time I make a new video where I need like a completely white surface, I'll just give it a bit of a scrub. Um, so that's what I've been doing at the start of most videos. So it looks like really nice and clean. I'm doing a flip through, so I don't really need to do a setup. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you my process of what I usually do before I um, start filming on a really clean surface. So I just finished filming the flip through and I found this print inside and I fell in love with it. So what I did was I went downstairs to see if I can find a frame. I framed up this watercoloring print that I did ages ago. Um, I'm probably just going to pop this one away in one of my journals because I really, really want this one up in my new place. So I'm going to pop that one in and see how it looks. So what do you think? Do you reckon it looks good? I left the ripped paper bits at the back just because I thought it looked a little bit older if it kind of looked like it was a print put into like an older frame even though the, I bought this frame from like Kmart <laughs> like two years ago. Um, I don't know. I quite like it. I think it's going to look nice in the new place. Um, what do you guys think? Now I've just got to put the old print that I had in that picture frame um, in my traveler's notebook because I don't want to get rid of it. Like things like this little watercoloring here on the side I quite like. It's not my best work but um, it's sort of, I, I mapped it out after a beautiful walk so I do want to keep the memories. Um, so I'm going to cut it up and see if I can get it into this traveling notebook well. So I actually made a video back in 2018 where I went for a walk and I painted these. 
so I'll see if I can link it in the description box below if you guys want to see it. My traveler's notebook is getting so thick now. <laughs> um, I've been putting more and more stuff in it every single time I journal. And I'm just loving how it sort of, I don't know, it can just hold so much, it's brilliant. So this journal that I'm creating now is not meant to be anything special. It's literally just meant to be me finding a lot of packaging and free items that I've literally just chucked in here and just stuck down. I'm not using any stamps, any washi tape, just glue and whatever I find. Um, so that's why I just wanted to create this really simple journal spread of the little pamphlet that I got at the journal store. Um, so as you can see, I also just stuck down these products. They're actually just packaging of um, the Zoella makeup that I got and I just really loved the design. Um, and I'm just literally sticking in here um, yeah, just packaging. I'm trying not to make this a creative journal. I'm trying just to pick things that I um, really like the look of aesthetically and I'm just adding them in. So these two coasters were from a, um, uh, I can't actually remember if they were a Japanese bar or a, um, or like some place that I ate. Even things that's like tea packaging that I really like. Um, these were packaging. This one here was off the um, Fairy Little Peaches little bag that she gave me when I went to her little stall at the markets. Like milky packaging, a lot of milky packaging, things from Japan. Um, so yeah, it's literally, I'm just supposed to be sticking things in. These are from independent artists from the scene festival. Um, so I really wanted to keep their stickers. Um, but yeah, I thought it's just a fun way. Oh, I haven't even stuck these down yet. Um, I thought it's just a fun way to keep things that remind me of different places I've been and also um, just something that I can go back to if I'm looking for like design ideas as well. Here's the name of the journal also if you wanted to purchase it yourself. So I just realised why I love this journal so much. It's actually by Circus Boy Band, one of my favourite stationery um, designers. I'll put a link in the description box below um, if I can find it on their website. So it's Saturday afternoon. Um, I just went for a walk around Narrabin Lake. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> um, my legs and hips are really sore. It was only about 8 k's, but we are pretty much power walking it the whole way and just talking. <laughs> um, but I'm actually going for a picnic tomorrow with another friend just because I'm getting in lots of social visits with all my friends before I leave. Um, so I thought I'd make some chocolate brownies and I'm also going to make some ricotta and um, spinach triangles. <laughs> 
So this should be really fun. So I'm just going to do like a little montage of me making these goodies and I'll show the baked goods at the end. So the brownies burned a bit, so I might have to chop off the top layer. Um, it kind of looks like a cake at the moment, so once I cut it up, hopefully it's going to look more like brownies. I also made another eight of these, um, just because I had a lot of mixture left. So I think we're going to be eating spinach and ricotta triangles for days, to be honest with you. Um, but at least if some don't work out, then I've got extras for the picnic. So these are the final brownies and then this was what was burnt that I just cut off the top. So I'm going to feed this to Dan so he doesn't eat these before the picnic tomorrow. <laughs> Yum, they're starting to get a really nice golden top. These ones not so much so I'm going to switch them over now.
morning. It's Sunday morning. Um, I got up pretty late this morning. I've just been like dawdling around the house a little bit, having a shower, doing a little bit of cleaning. Um, I'm actually going to have my picnic this afternoon. So the baked goods I made yesterday, um, I'm taking over to the picnic. Um, and we're also going to be watching the footy in the afternoon. So Dan's going to come with me. He's just at the gym at the moment. Um, which left me enough time to sort of set up this area here. I'm actually going to be making a wax seal compilation video just because I find them really satisfying to watch. Um, so I'm making one of those now. I was actually going to make like a snail mail tutorial because I've got five mails left to send to my patrons over on Patreon. Um, and I need to get that done ASAP just because I'm packing up all my stationery um, and it's all going to be shipped up to Brisbane soon. So I'll have about two weeks where I won't have stationery. So I wanted to get that done, but I wasn't in the mood at all. <laughs> I just woke up this morning. I was thinking it kind of gave me a little bit, not anxiety, but it's just like I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel motivated to create those videos because it does take a lot of time and effort to make all of the snail mail packages and then put all the shipping um, details on and just write all the letters, make all the goodies and things because it, it does take like if I was to do five letters, it would probably take me like the entire day because they also put a lot of time and effort um, to make the mail out on top of the envelope and I want to make sure that each mail I'm sending out I feel proud and it's something that I want to get I don't just want to send something that I'll be like yeah this is kind of average I hope they like it it's something that I'm like I actually want them to feel like they've got something special in the mail so before we get started I'll show you the wax seals that I make at the end of this video I'm not going to show you me making it just because it's going to be on my YouTube channel but I actually I'm going to keep the tea packet um, that I just cut off, I gently cut it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the tea packet in my journal. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I find the packaging really cute. I kept the last one, the Hello Kitty one, um, because I really want to journal with them. They're adorable packaging. And a lot of people ask me, so I'll do a close up on the tea packaging so you know what brand it is. I'll also keep the little tag sometimes as well. So yeah, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to design like the layout that I want this video to look like. So because it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of different angles that I'll be filming the wax seal just so people can get a close up look at it. Um, I want to make sure that it looks pretty. So I'm going to design that now. So in my wax seal compilation, I'm actually using, using these gilding flakes. Um, I just got these from a discount store near my house and they were $3 each. So this is my setup today. I'm probably going to have to put the video on auto so it focuses a lot better. Um, but I think that's the best I can do with this lighting. So I've just finished filming the compilation video with all my wax seals. And I actually had this baby's breath and also a few of these dried flowers that I wanted to create some wax seals with. Now, I did these ones with the coloured wax and then these ones here are actually just with the hot glue gun. Um, so that's done. So you can see that it should be on my channel or it might be the next video. Um, for the rest of this video, I'm actually just going to be baking a few more pastries. I've got them lined up here for the picnic this afternoon but other than that um, I'm going to end the video soon. So I'm going to end the vlog here today. Please let me know if you're enjoying these videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!